Away from that, supply and logistics disruption will continue to threaten food security in Nigeria unless resilient structures are built. This was the focus of discussions at the public presentation of the Nigerian Logistics and Supply Chain Industry Report 2022. Ifunaya Eze reports. Security is in the spotlight at this public presentation of the Nigerian Logistics and Supply Chain Report 2022 edition. As the theme for this year's event, supply chain disruptions and food security, issues and implications was explored. Several speakers addressed the danger of prevailing disruptions threatening food security, insisting on actionable parameters to guard against significant setbacks. Before COVID, our supply chain was already problematic. Then COVID came and exposed it the more. So the point is that if you know the quantity of perishable foods that perish in Nigeria every year, Many farmers cannot even go to farm in some parts of the country because of the banditry, kidnapping and all of that. So to even be able to move labor to where they're going to work on the farm to produce, it's, it's, a, it's a constraint as well. This is the focus of the issue today, that how do we deal with it? But the, the main thing in the report, which is important, is that can we build a system that will be so resilient that even when these disruptions come, we will be able to recover quickly and be able to rise up and even continue on our way. They identify the lack of enabling infrastructure as one of the biggest barriers to effective logistics and supply chain processes. We depend today only on roads to move things up country. The roads are, the roads are not sufficiently, uh, you know, they're not, the network is not sufficient, number one. Two, the cost of moving things by road is higher than if we had a functional rail system, which would have been the better way to move things logistically. We have an uh, inland waterways, good one that will do quite a lot. I mean, inland waterways become so important that it has to be recognized in the incoterms as part of international trade. We are not taking advantage of our position to do uh, uh, um, uh, cargo for land, landlocked countries and the rest of them. So we don't realize what we stand to gain from supply chain. We should have been the hub for West and Central Africa. As part of the event, the African Center for Supply Chain held its 11th fellowship investiture and induction ceremony. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.